fingernail polish on my toes. <laughs> Doing what? Fingernail polish. Fingernail polish? Skin color. Oh, really? Yeah. You make it look good, you mean? Make it look more better. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs>
I just uh, got, got tired of not going barefooted. I just was kind of embarrassed of my toes. Uh -huh. Uh huh. And then when you came today, I, I didn't see you with that. You didn't put it on lately? No, I said, no, I'm not going to put it on right now. Uh huh. <laughs> so, how many times did you try? Uh, I've been using it off and on during the week. Uh huh. Uh, it's like skin, a to kind of a toenail color. Oh, is that right? Of my toenails, matching my toenails. Uh huh. It makes it look better? Yeah. It does. Oh, okay. That's great. I would love to have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> next time you put it on and show up, okay? I'll show up next time. Yeah, yeah. I want to. Okay. Just for this visit, you should. Uh, yeah. I would love to see it. I've never seen it, so. Hey, after all, I may use it, right? Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah? Hey. You think those will ever get cleared up over time? It's very difficult. Um, we have to keep working on it, right? Yeah. Did I give you the medicine in the past? I have took that medicine and then it, uh, I think it ran out about a month ago. Oh, is that right? Once. Okay. So, so I just started using the uh, one of the over the counter. Over the counter? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have some stronger medicine now. Okay. That seems to be more helpful, but at the end of the day, it's a, you have to really, you know, work on, uh, you know, using the. Um, using it all the time and then there's uh, other uh, environmental things that I can help you with to clear the nail problem as well so okay. we can talk a little bit more in detail about that so I'm gonna just grind it down I just wanted to nice. show how this brace looks like you can see on this here so his compression stockings are a little too um, tight for him these are called the ferro wrap it's a little velcro and it has a gradient so it's a little tighter and then gets a little wider on top and then you can really control how tight you want it by okay. pulling this harder and then stick it on so it kind of gives you a gradient of pushing this thing back because having this venous uh, blood pulled over here is very dangerous because you can make the skin very thin and it can open up and cause an ulcer which could be a big problem so this is a really good wrap that we've been using so I'm gonna give you a prescription for that and I'm just gonna can't wait to try it okay very good so we're gonna grind it down a little bit and then uh, we'll see you after you try your uh, new ferro wrap and see how that has helped you and then we can go from there so you're still working from home you said yes are you retired or you're i'm semi-retired oh you're semi-retired so you're you're managing property yes you're saying so i'm sorry i get a retirement check huh i get a retirement check so i retired in april oh is that right but i still work so it's still my retirement you you talking this year you retired this year oh wow you just newly retired yeah. perfect timing perfect timing good time to retire now it feels good yeah you don't know what's gonna happen now. No. Right? Wow. Good job. So you're just kind of helping them? Yeah, helping them get the places ready to the new tenants to make it. Uh-huh. Wow. Are there a lot of people not able to pay their rent these days? Or? Oh, I haven't seen any change in that. Right, because they're still getting a lot of help from the government, yeah. which is good. But when it runs out in September, there could be a little problem. Yes, it could be. Right? So, it's been kind of manageable, but it can get a lot worse now, which I'm really afraid of. You know? Yeah. Because people still need to it's have a quick... Right, so, you know? Have a plan B. Have a plan B. You got it. You always, get, especially these days, you need plan B because you don't know. Every day there's something new, right? Yes, something new happening and all of us are kind of going, whoa, what next now? Yes. Uh, it's kind of scary what's going on, so I think it's a good idea. Definitely. This toe is pretty thick too. I know, it's the end of the 
Huh? Yeah, that is I'm sorry? Yeah, that is pretty safe on that one. I've been mm -hmm. noticing. Yeah. I find it down, well, then I'm giving you medicine. Okay. I'll try it on. But congratulations on uh, on your retirement. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so you can you can get up anytime you want now. I started going back to work at about nine o'clock now. Oh, really? It used to be earlier. Yeah, I, I would sometimes get up at four o'clock. Oh, is that right? Wow, that's a big difference on the retirement. Oh yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, if you're if you're not a morning person like I am, that'll be perfect. Are you a morning person? Oh, you are? Okay. So for me, getting up in the morning is the hardest thing every morning. So I'm looking forward to my retirement when I get up whenever I want to. I'll probably get up like at 11 every day. <laughs> Dennis Joplin said, Mom, we shouldn't get up before noon. <laughs> wow. Very good. Very good seeing you. Yeah. Thank you for allowing us to film you today. Oh, sure. Here we go. And then show everybody your um, wrap.